we are going to now balance the reaction for the combustion of C3H7OH or propanol. Uh, first, I'm going to look at a strategy here uh, to know what to start with. I do not want to start with oxygen. And the reason I do not is because oxygen is alone. And because it's alone, I want to balance it last. The reason I want to balance it last is because I can change my coefficient on oxygen without messing up a balanced carbon or hydrogen. So I can start with either carbon or hydrogen. I'm going to go ahead and start with the carbon. I have three carbons on the left, so I want three carbons on the right. The easiest way to do that is to put a coefficient of three here. So now I have three carbons on each side. Next, if I look, I have eight hydrogens on the left, seven plus one is eight in the propanol. I have two hydrogens over here. If I want eight hydrogens over here, I can put a coefficient of four in front of the water, and then I will have that. So all that's left now is to balance oxygen. And if I remember, I want to balance the oxygen here with a coefficient in front of the oxygen and not uh, over on the propanol because I don't want to mess up my carbon or my hydrogen. So on this side, I can see that I have 10 oxygens. Over here right now, I have three oxygens. I have one on the propanol, so if I can get nine from the O2, I'll have it. Well, the only way I can get nine, since I have an O2, is to put a coefficient of nine halves or 4.5 here. Nine halves or 4.5. And so at this point, nine halves times two is nine, plus one is 10 oxygens. So at this point, I have a balanced equation. I have a balanced equation now at this point. The only problem with that is that we typically want whole number coefficients. So the easiest way to get whole number coefficients and keep it balanced is to simply multiply everything through by 2. So I want to double all of these coefficients. So I'm starting with an unwritten coefficient of 1 in front of the propanol, so I'm going to double that and make it a 2. I can then double the 9 halves and make that a 9. I can then double my 3 and make that a 6. I can then double my 4 and make that a coefficient of 8. And at this point, I will have a balanced chemical equation. I can check it if I would like. I have six carbons on the left and six carbons on the right. I have 8 times 2, which is 16 hydrogens on the left. 8 times 2 is 16 hydrogens on the right. And finally, I have 6 times 2 is 12, plus 8 is 20 oxygens on the right side. I have 18 on oxygen and two more on the propanol, which is 20 oxygens here. And at this point, then, I do have a balanced chemical equation.